Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 22. And I have finished the harvest. Well, at least on this field. Alright, there we go. Let's get the pipe in. For the moment, we're going to shut that off. It needs maintenance. Now, there is actually... Ow. A small... <laughs> a small garage here. I'm not sure if we'll get in. I don't think we'll get in with the header. So, we might be better off to... Uh, actually take it back to the farm. Because I have a portable uh, workshop there. Alright, let's uh, start by delivering this down to the farm. We'll throw it in the silo. We ended up with 22,000 liter of oats. Not a huge amount, but... You don't expect much from pre-made fields. They probably only had, uh, you know, the minimal amount of tending. I mean, compared to, you know, the way we're going to spoil. <laughs> okay. Tight corner. So this shed on the end, I think, is going to be for bales. Possibly. Or we might do this one. Uh, it's kind of an awkward backing up too, though, isn't it? Um, hmm. I think... Three, four, yeah, that still leaves us enough. I think I'm going to get rid of a couple of sheds here on the farm. I know, I'm always putting sheds down, but... I mean, like, placing sheds down. <laughs> I don't mean, like, putting them down like, ah, filthy sheds. I just mean, you know, I'm forever running out of sheds and needing to put new ones in. But this, on the other hand, seems to have the opposite issue. So we're going to off these two. Oh. <laughs> Apparently there was something in one of them. Our mowers. All right, that's better. That's going to give me a little bit of room here in the farmyard so that we can uh, maneuver things where we need them. Now, speaking of the devil, I've driven past my uh, tip point on this. There we go. Unload the oats. Yes, I like this trailer. It pushes things instead of relying on, you know, gravity. Alright. That worked well. Very well indeed. So. I believe. See, we've got a portable maintenance right there under the tree. If we come out past our Q barn, and head up here, I think we'll find, uh, okay, that's another grass field, I believe. Yeah. And it says ready to, it looks awfully sparse, doesn't it? But it says it's ready. So, I don't know. Well, I mean, I do know we have to uh, get in there and moo it down, obviously. So, we've got another grass field there. Now, 
Now this I don't believe is ready, is it? No, this sorghum is still growing. Okay, cool. Oh, this isn't ours, this one. 53 is not our grass field, it's someone else's. Um, hmm. Hopefully I can uh, turn at the end here. No, that's going to be closed, isn't it? Well, don't tell anybody. But I'm going to uh, have to turn around in this guy's field. Oops. Sorry. 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 look at the map for a moment we are right here okay so that's grass as well huh? There we go. Now we can actually see the grass. Um, yeah. <clears throat> we need to get to our other fields from the front. So, hope everybody's doing well. It is a Friday morning. Here on the beautiful sunshine coast of BC. And, uh... Burr. <laughs> That's what I have to say about today, believe me. Now, this cornfield... You'd almost think this should be part of our property, eh? No, oh, she's a fair chunk. But, we don't own it at the moment. I suppose we could if we wanted to. What's the, uh... What is the fee? That would be this... Excuse me, this field here. Notice the numbers are different? That so confused me, let me tell you. Eighty-six k Sandy Loam, 97%. Hmm. So it's a decent quality field. What's this one? Ooh, even better actually. Quite a mix. Okay. Um, we know that one's got corn. I think this one would be wheat, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, at any rate, we're oh. Holding up traffic. Sorry. If you're driving the right side of the road. <laughs> okay, is this probably eh? Alright, yeah, this gets us to this canola field. That's the grass. And then if we continue along... Yeah, this gets us to our sunflowers, but they're nowhere near. So the canola is ready. Need to come down. And that's not going to leave us any straw, so that'll be a straight through. So... Hmm. 
not a lot of uh, oop, not a lot of space to leave things there we go we're gonna leave our trailer up here boom all right and let's head up to the shop Now it's still uh, prior to the uh, episode I did yesterday. It still hasn't gone up. It goes up in about ten minutes. <laughs> so I don't know yet what your comments are, or if you like the choice of maps. Hopefully, it does, and uh, hopefully, this is a well-received series. We're actually a little quicker than this van in front of us, aren't we? <laughs> Gonna get brave. Oh, all right. Apparently, one of us can be brave. <laughs> yeah, it's a ways, isn't it? To the shop. I suppose we could do the uh, delivery thing. They charge a lot of money. And we may have a fair chunk now, but we've also uh, got next to zippity doodah for proper equipment. Although, as you're about to see, I have made a couple of purchases. Uh, our maintenance is good. We don't need to worry about the dotes. She will handle it. All right. We have got ourselves a Johnny Deer Baylor. And I believe it's an Arkison, is not it? Anderson. An Anderson Group Stacker. Nice. The Stack Pro. I believe we can put like 14 squares on there. And then, of course, we got this. Now, this is an older Baylor. And as such, it didn't cost us a lot of money. Most of these things are, uh, I think they start at like 60k. But this one was pretty cheap. It's not worn out, it's, it's new old stock, basically. So, yeah. As you can see, there's no wear and tear. But it was about a third the price of the uh, next closest competition. Because it is old school stock, so... There we go. Let's uh, jump back in. Whoa. <laughs> yes, it's going to take me a little while to get used to the fact that uh, I apparently don't know what side of the road to drive on. This is quite the dip down this hill. There's another one right by the market by our place. You distinctly feel yourself come over a rise and then drop. <coughs> Okie dokie. Almost to our turn off. It seems quicker coming back, doesn't it? field's just been limed, or it snowed there in August. I mean, don't really know, do we? Okay, there is the field in question, and I happen to know there's actually an opening up here, so... 
Let's take advantage of it. Okay. Now, before we go too far with that... Oh, look at this. <laughs> ah, man. Here, let's just... Uh, uh, get over there. I guess we know why there's a, an opening now. <laughs> Alright, you are not in the best of condition, so I think the, uh, the header is good. But the machine itself could use a little TLC. Well, it could use a lot, but I guess that's why we got it at 70% off. We're going to uh, end up paying for it in added upkeep and maintenance. So yeah, nice clear morning this morning when I went for my walk. Of course, that also means it was chilly. In fact, it was chilly to the point of it was minus 10. So, <laughs> yeah, I was uh, a wee bit nippied out there, let me tell you. Oof. Yeah, okay. So, now this is our own grass field I'm stomping around in this time, so, should be legit, ooh, that trailer's taken kind of a turn for the worse, I hate it when the front ends do that on these, so, dolly style rigs -es. Switch that, then we can pop that off of there. Ho ho ho. Just. Just indeed. So. all the way through the farm. But first... Yeah. <laughs> 13,000 in repairs. And that doesn't need anything. There we are. Whew. That was, uh, that was a fair chunk, but we are now an actual functional unit, so, oh, this farm is a twisted, twisted child, there we go. heck am I going to get to put the header on this thing? It's an awful good thing that crop destruction is turned off, isn't it? Because I've got absolutely nowhere to leave that trailer.
a mess. So... Ooh, excuse me, fella. Um... Here, I'm gonna, uh, Take a quick trip here. I gotta let go of you for a moment. This guy's still in good shape. Alright. Whoa. Okay. going on with this thing. Where is the... Oh, really? <laughs> well, that's just beautiful, isn't it? Hmm? I can't get down there. Oh, come on, don't do that. Uh. Yeah, I just can't, uh, whoa. Cannot get that hitch. help if I could even see it. Oh, come on. Give me a freaking hitch, will you? Where is it? Oh, it just keeps... Where the heck even is it? Thank you. Yeah. I can see that I'm going to pretty much hate this, uh, this thing. Stump here? I guess not, eh? Okay. Would help if we could actually see where the uh, 
There we go. No, that's not what I want. Well, I guess the stumps are over there. Okay. And the other one is... We'll try that again. Well, I can safely say I absolutely hate this particular... Uh, ...header trailer. Oh, piss off. Now the traffic's gonna come and screw with me. Oh, God. Oh, well. I guess I gotta go through my own sunflower field here. Now, is that going to stay there, or is it just going to wander off at some random freaking angle? Because they're nice and straight when I set them down. It's freaking traffic. Oh, come on, give me a second here. Jeez, people. You really in that much of a rush? Yeah, serious? I'm not even capable of getting to the trailer? Come on. Think. There you go. Alright. Yeah. See, there's a opening on the far side here too. Eh? Oh yeah, that goes down to that other little farm thing. Which I believe is the only one on the map that doesn't actually contain any animals. Jeez, I don't think you actually needed to run the crop right up to the hedges. It only makes it awkward. I 
probably not going to get much yield from here. Canola is good money, but it's uh, not a very good yielder. Yeah, I think to get a hired worker to do this, I'd have to put enough headlands on here or half the field to be done anyway. So... It's not going to take long to get this one done. And although the traffic is annoying, I think at least for now I'm going to leave it turned on. Whew, it's chilly in here too. So my new chair arrived yesterday, I'm sitting in it currently, and I must say it is certainly more, uh, more comfortable than my quote-unquote gaming chair. I'm sure they make a great chair if you're car racing, but uh, sitting for four or five or six hours at a time, no, they're not. Uh, they're not really all that user friendly. <laughs> and that's kind of the big concern with a chair, isn't it? Because above all, it must be user friendly. There we go. Now we should be able to, uh, Probably get the entire thing in one uh, one harvester's worth here, which is sad, but. It is what it is, and again, <clears throat> you know, likely this was not pre-plowed, it received only whatever fertilizer, if the cedar even carried fertilizer when it put it down, so, yeah. Never count these as being your high yield fields. Because they're like they were government contracted. You know what I mean? Went to the lowest bidder that could do it the cheapest. No, nope, I'm going to have to run a second headland because of those hedges. Or, we're going to get 
half a row more than one harvester <laughs> That's always the other possibility, isn't it? And I don't know that this particular field is touted as having a great uh, yield potential anyways. Okay, so we are going to need to fill this thing at some point. So I think I'll go for the outside row in case we need to pop the pipe. There we go. We'll be optimistic here. <laughs> okay. There you go. side of your car. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Whew, talk about a hill, eh? Wow. Good thing we got nice tough equipment here. Before I climbed in the harvester, I saw something almost looked like it was in the air in front of us, but it's gone now. It was either, I guess, uh, something that hadn't rendered in yet, or, I don't know, maybe it was just a couple of crows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the new chair is uh, quite comfortable. Although, uh, I gotta say, the, uh, the arms are not quite as padded as I might like. That's okay, I think somewhere I'm gonna have to dig them up. I've actually got a set of gel pads that go onto the arms of uh, an office chair to help make them a little more comfortable. Oh, there's an interesting pattern. Look, we drew a, a bow tie in the middle of our field. <laughs> or an hourglass, or whatever you prefer. Say. 
is there. So we'll empty this and then we'll go grab his trailer. Even this out a little bit. Not that there's much there. Okay. There we are. We'll just stop you there for a moment. Whilst we go and deal with this. Fifteen and a half thousand. Not bad. Yeah, I know I'm on the wrong side of the road. Whoops. <laughs> All right. go too far in but we got her yeah we'll have to uh, reset those things as well hmm <laughs> but we'll worry about that in a moment let's uh See if I can find my header trailer. Huh. I thought I just parked it. Just go around me. God, come on. Sitting on my butt the whole time I'm here. Where the heck is it? in the next one up. That's right. That's right. No, oh, I know you don't. If I even breathe on it, it's gonna pop 90 degrees to the side and we'll never get a hold of it again. There we go. Alright. Now I'm gonna have to do a loop with you. Get you the right way around, but that's okay. barely have the brakes to stop this thing. Alright. And you are empty, so we should be able to fold you up. And I think that's about all for the moment. What is that crow rooting around at? I 
supposedly should have run the beacon, but it's a pretty short trip. steep there we go perfect this into the farm. and snug. Get it unfolded. Let's get what we're hoping is a very generous brush down to the ground. And let's crank her up. Of course it is. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> I mean, the, the hedges are drive throughable, except where the posts are. So, you know. All right, there's our first bale. It's not out, but we've produced it. Cool. And hopefully the second one will push it to the edge. third one. Are you going to uh, set that down or are you going to wait till I'm all the way into the new one? There you go. Lovely. 
lovely. Thank you. Suck the rest of that up. But I think we're uh, probably getting pretty much to the end of our time here for today. So, again, if you enjoy the episode, please uh, remember to hit that like button. Look forward to your comments, should you leave them. And until next time, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.